we have been trying to discover if in fact there is an American ruling class. It's dead. I'm afraid there is. I, I don't think it uh, serves democracy well, if that is true, but I think there is. The ruling class is the rich who, uh, who really command our industry, our commerce, our finance, and those people are, are able to so manipulate our, our democracy that uh, they really control the democracy. The governments don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. And that's the way it is. So for most traders, it's not about, it's that we don't really care that much how they're going to fix the economy, how they're going to fix the, uh, the whole situation. Our job is to make money from it. Uh, the big funds, the hedge funds, the institutions, they don't buy this rescue plan. Uh, they, they basically, um, they know the market is toast. The depression in the 30s wasn't just about a market crash. There were some people who were prepared to make money from that crash. They're all the same. I'll show you politics in America. Here it is, right here. I think the puppet on the right shares my beliefs. I think the puppet on the left is more to my liking. Hey, wait a minute. There's one guy holding up both puppets. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control. I have this feeling, man, because you know there's a handful of people actually run everything. That's true. It's provable. It's not a fuck. I'm not a conspiracy nut. It's provable. Handful, very small elite running on these corporations, which include the mainstream media. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. Military, 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 industrial, industrial complex. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing happens to work. You know anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You just wait and wait thinking this is going to go away just like a cancer is going to grow and it's going to be too late what i would say to everybody is get prepared
We've been recently informed that Christy Alley has gained 83 pounds. As Western citizens, we have been informed that Christy Alley has gained 83 pounds. This is what matters. For those of you who missed it, Christy Alley has actually gained a whopping 83 pounds. This is very relevant and important information. I have noticed that none of you are on people's 100 most beautiful people list of the year. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, you in the blue. I suspect that you do not have a tan. You should please make your way to the nearest tanning experience and get tan, please, so that mental love you. Please stop holding hands and realize that Christy Alley gained 83 pounds. That's right, citizens. There is such thing as royalty. Once there was a royal sperm, and the royal sperm went to the royal egg, and then the royal egg and sperm eventually turned into royalty, and that's what we see today on television. Incest. William and Kate, a royal family of sperm. That will not help you if you're not being impressed. Markets are ruled right now by fear. Sir, please wipe that smile off your face. It's bad for the economy. Miserable people are more likely to buy shit they don't need. Sir, you too. Oh, yes, citizens. Chrissy Alley. She has gained 83 pounds. What about this one? It says, yes, I gained 83 pounds. And it talks about like how she gained weight. I mean, like, is that important in a society? Not is really. That, not really? Not at all. Why do you think... Why, <laughs> why do you think people read about this stuff then? I don't know. They have a lot. They're very important. People don't want to know about that. No. That's just like a personal thing. They don't need to know. The other question is why? People pay attention to this. Because their lives are more important. Their lives are allegedly more important. Do they have more money than us? And they're just, more exciting and they're just flaunting themselves. How old are you? I'm 13.